It's delicious. Hello guys, it is the Opisana here. I hope you are having a good day today. And today guys, I am going to be showing you how to recognize, get the Sims 3 to recognize your graphics card. So, you just bought a new graphics card. You have just installed the Sims 3 on your computer. And then when you start up the Sims 3, you can see the error on the screen come up. Warning, unrecognized graphics card. And it's just bugging you and you don't know what's going on and then 15 minutes later your game crashes and it is just such annoying guys and basically there is a way to fix this <laughs> and I am going to be showing you today now before I begin going into this tutorial guys just to let you know that it is a bit of a tedious process but if you follow me during this tutorial you will have your newly recognized and uh, your new card recognized by the symmetry which then will in turn not cause any issues so um i am going to show you today to fix it by the way i got this error from my um if you watched my last tutorial yet where i showed you to get this in free and the complete collection and all that for free you may have seen while we were installing the store content that we actually got this error so i am going to be today showing you now it doesn't really affect gameplay but it can crash your game a couple of similars have recognized before even if you've tried all your CC out and all that sort of stuff, this can actually crash your game. So if you follow me correctly in today's tutorial, uh, you should have the results you want. The Sims 3 should be recognising your graphics card. And you shouldn't really be having any graphical errors anymore as such. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this tutorial guys. If you haven't yet, do smash that like button. And do smash that subscribe button, it would be amazing if you do. And let's get this video to 5 likes guys, it'd be amazing if we can get it to 5 likes. But anyway guys, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the tutorial and I'm going to show you how to fix this. So, let's begin. Okay, so I actually own an NVIDIA card, but I have an idea how you will do it for AMD. So I will be showing you on the NVIDIA side of things, but it should be really similar for AMD and I do know how kind of to do it for AMD. It's very, very similar. And I will kind of explain it and I'll do it like its own section. But yes, I am going to be showing you for both cards. So we're going to start off with NVIDIA. And well, this first part is the same, but then we're going to split it off. So uh, we're going to start off with NVIDIA. If you own an AMD card, you are going to skip to a certain point. But this first part will be universal for all cards. So we're going to jump right into it here. So you're going to go into your documents here and you're going to go into your electronic arts folder. And you go to Sims 3. And where we're going to start off is this file right here, device config. And the reason why we're going here is for a very good reason. You're going to see that in a minute. So we're just going to go right down here to um, <laughs> graphics device info. And you'll see it says number zero. And then it'll say name, driver, and the name of the card. Which in my case is a GeForce GTX 745. I don't have a great card, but. Um, I did actually have to do this process with it, so you will have to do this with the newer cards and uh, if it's on the AMD side it would be the R9 290s, the 2 series, if it's on the NVIDIA side it would be the 700 series or higher, so, uh, so you can see here name, database, and this is where you're going to see what I mean. So when you load up this file for the first time it will say found zero, matched zero, that's what it will say. When you launch the file for the first time, it will say that. So what we're trying to do is we're going to try and get match one, found one. We're going to try and change it to that, basically, so because I've already done this, but that's what we're going to try to change it to. So we only really need one or two pieces of information. Well, actually, we only need one piece of information from here. So you want to go ahead and go here and you want to go to the device ID. See this thing right here, device. You just want to copy that. Now, if it's for AMD, it will stay there. Go ahead and copy that number. We will need it for later. Okay, so once you have done that, there's just one other thing we're going to check, but we'll do it a little later on and I'll talk about that. But we're going to go ahead and exit out of it. Now, I'm going to say don't say because, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get right into this tutorial. I'll be showing you. In the video first and then I'll be explaining how to do it on the AMD side. So let's jump right into it, shall we oh. you guys? So for NVIDIA it is actually quite simple. 
Um, now it's going to be really similar to the process for NVIDIA and AMD. I'll talk about AMD now in a few minutes. But first what you want to go ahead and do, you want to go to your local disk C. And go to Program Files x86. And go to Electronic Arts. The same is free. Game, bin, and the first thing we are going to do is we're going to copy these two files right here. Graphic Cards and Graphics Ones. We're going to be going to go ahead and make two folders, okay? We're going to make a folder on our desktop. Just call it whatever. We'll just call it A. And we'll call it middle one B. And uh, the reason why we're making two copies, one is going to be the one we're going to be editing. The other one's going to be our backup. And the reason why I'm doing it in this format, so we can make our life 100% easier. So we're just going to go into A first. And um, bring these in. These are going to be our backups. And then B is going to be the ones we're going to be editing. So we're going to be editing the ones in these folders. Okay, once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and launch graphics cards first. Now you could do graphics rules first either, but we're going to do graphics cards because it's much easier to start with graphics cards than moving on to graphics rules. So, we're going to start off with graphics cards. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is you just want to type in NVIDIA which I actually spelled wrong, but you'll type in the video however it's spelled and uh, you'll just type that in and yeah here we go so you can see here um excuse me it's spelled like that I don't know how I spell the video it's very hard to spell the video but you can see here here and then what you'll just go ahead and do is put in this card now I've already done it you just tap in the card on the ID of the board. Now I've already done this, so in my case it was 1382, and you'll just put in whatever the name of your card so GeForce GTX745 in my case, or it will be like that number, whatever number it is, uh, like, or like 745, or if the card is different, let's say it's 960 and the ID was different, you'll just put in 960 but it depends on the id make sure you know the id of your card that's why you copied that earlier and then what you'll go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and we'll file and save now i've already done this so we're not going to go ahead and do that um but you'll just click file and save once you've added your card to the database we're going to move on to the second part of this tutorial now this is where it's going to get everything's going to get a bit confusing but you'll understand why so here we go we're just going to go ahead and we're going to open that and um, the very first thing I recommend doing is we're going to go here before we go down to the other thing because it's just a little easier to start here first. So, you can see here I've already done this. I'm actually going to do it, edit a bit more of this now. But um, what will be here is will be set texture memory 32 megabytes. So it'll be something like that. And this will not be here. Okay, this one right here will not be there. It'll just be like that. So what you want to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to find out how much do you have, like VRAM you have. Now VRAM is basically the RAM in your card. Um, VRAM is a little hard to explain, but this is similar to RAM, usual RAM, but VRAM is basically how much video, like RAM the video can take up, but it's in the card itself. It, it's a bit confusing to explain, but we're going to find that out now. So you want to go to your display settings. And what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go down to display adapter properties. Okay, so this will bring up this. And this is where it's going to say it. You can see here on my card it says this. And then it says I would recommend looking at this right here. The dedicated memory. That's 4096. Now, what I recommend doing now is go back here. And what you want to put in is about a quarter of that or even a third depending on the card so how this goes is if you want to get a quarter that uh, would be 1024 because of how memory works basically that is a quarter now if you want to find a third of your card for example I had four gigs there show up but sometimes it recognizes as three gigs what I would highly recommend doing it is dividing 3000 and I have it on screen right now 3,000 and 72 by 3 and which will be 1,024 either way so whatever it is put on around third of that the other thing we're gonna have to do as well is we're just gonna add a hashtag to here 
Oh, rough place. But you'll put hashtag to there and just do space. That's all you want to do. This will then ignore this line right here. Okay, so you've done that. Now, this is where it's going to really split off. So we're going to move on to the video. So you're going to go down to a line down here, which I'll actually have in the description. You're going to go down to that line, which I can find right now. It is right here. So this line will be in the description to copy to, to go down. If you press Ctrl F, you can put I'm in. And what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go down here and you're going to see this if, else if this thing right here. So what you just want to go ahead and do is you're going to just copy the code from the description. So you're going to get rid of one bracket that is here. So there'll be two brackets, one right here. This code is not even here. Ignore this code. So just, I'm going to cut that out. And what you just basically do is get rid of that bracket and paste that in. That's all you need to do. And for whatever your card is now, for me with the 700 series, but if it's the 1000 series, you just change that 7 to 10. Or if it's the 900 series, you change it to a 9, so on and so forth. That's how it works. So. Um, yeah, that's all you need to do and then you'll just go ahead and click save. Okay, so once you have done that, you're going to go ahead, I'm actually going to change it back to the 700 series, you're going to see. Okay, so once you have done that, what you just want to go ahead and do is you're just going to go ahead and do file and save. Okay, once you have done that, we are finished with those files. So, what you'll just go ahead and do is go back into A, the one we just edited, which I believe are these ones name them but you're gonna see this one is our edited one if we go down here this would be our edited one and um, we could tell from the graphics rules it was the edited one which you can see so what you just want to go ahead and do is copy those go control C and then go ahead and go to your local disk C program files x86 electronic arts the sims 3 game in I just go paste them right back in there. Okay, so you have finished that. Now you can go launch your game, and what you should see is file one matched one in the device config to make sure everything is working. Okay, we're gonna now move on to AMD. It is really similar, very, very similar to process. So let me show you with AMD. Okay, guys, so you may have followed the same step. You're gonna go ahead and copy them to two separate folders. One is gonna be the backup, one is gonna be the ones you're gonna be editing. And then what you wanna go ahead and do is open those up. And you want to go into graphics cards. SGR. You're going to start off with graphical cards. Okay, so once you're here, you're going to see what to do next. So, I have to explain something just first. So, before I go in, what you want to know is that it says ATI there. And the reason being is before AMD began making cards, there was a company called ATI and I'm just going to basically explain really quickly and they were making, they were really successful until about 2008, 2009 when they began running out of money and that's when AD, AMD decided to buy them out which was a success because they began making graphics cards under the Radeon series, series. So for example I am going to shoot now so unfortunately I don't have a card but you basically will just make one up so remember that a uh, device id we copied earlier so what you want to go ahead and do is put a card you want to tab in put a card whatever the id is maybe 0 sex 4 2 1 8, 8 6 let's just make one up but the one you have will be there and then you'll just put in a and d and name your card so for example i'm just going to choose the uh, RX 560. So I will do Radeon, and what you will do is RX 560. Okay, and you won't put series because it isn't exactly a series. You could put the 500 series in there, but you'll just do RX 560, which I am seeing from my experience. You may have to put series in. If that's the case, just put series in. I don't own an AMD card, but it'll be something similar to this. Okay, so once you have done that, just go close it up and then save up the file. Now, I'm not going to do it because I actually own a NVIDIA card, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, now you're going to go in to this file. Again, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing in the NVIDIA part of the tutorial. You'll go add your texture memory. If you don't know how to get your texture memory, you go ahead and right click. Go to display settings and go to display adapter properties. This will show you the um, texture memory. 
I recommend putting one to one and a half gig towards it. So I've just put 1024. And then what you'll just go ahead and do is you'll put a hashtag before this line. So it will ignore that line altogether. <laughs> so that's texture memory size of okay, KFOS. It will just ignore that line. Okay, once you have done it, you're gonna go down way, way, way. I will have the um, line, but what you'll basically go ahead and do is you'll just put on this. Okay, I'll have this in the description. You'll go control F, point that out, and there is ATI. Again, AMD, ATI, whatever you wanna call it. And then what you'll just go ahead and do is you'll go down to the medium thing here. And what you'll want to go ahead and do is add your card in, so like here. So you'll just go ahead and do is, uh, I'm just going to copy this because it's basically the same line. So I'll just copy this here, um, or match. So you'll just put that in, or match. So you'll just put that in, or match, and then you'll put in your key. So for example, if it's the Radeon 560, you'll just put in RX 55, um, just like that. That's all you'll just put in. You don't need to put in Radeon, you just have to put in RX 5, whatever. And then after you do that, you'll just save it. And then once you have done that, guys, what you'll just go ahead and do is paste them back in to the completely saved file path. So what you'll just do is you'll open back that folder, go ahead, copy them. Then what you want to go ahead and do is you'll want to go to your local disk C. And then, sorry, that's my Don't worry about that. Uh, you go to Electronic Arts. The Sims 3 game in and you'll paste them right back in there. That's all you need to do. Now go ahead and close that up once Sims 3. Go back into the device config and it should say one and one matched one. So that's all you need to do guys. It is actually really really simple. Very simple to do. Very easy to do. Uh, it just takes a little bit of practice. Again, I will have the lines in the first couple of lines in the description, so you'll see what I mean. Um, but once you have done that, go ahead and launch this in free. If you're having any areas, errors with the AMD side, let me know. And you may have to put in Radeon RX, I'm not too sure, but uh, from what I'm guessing, it will be something similar to that, which I just typed in. So, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, guys. I hope it really helped. Please do smash that like button, it would be amazing if you do. Also smash that subscribe button, it would be amazing if you do. We're going to try and reach 5 likes in this video, it would be amazing if you could help me reach that. And as well guys, do leave a comment if you're having any problems or anything, I'll try and help you out. But for now guys, do click that subscribe button and Oka Simmer is out of the building. See you in the next video.